Hey guys, Ricky here and in today's quick tutorial video I'm going to show you exactly how you should set up your diet following the Movie Star Body Program. Now if you're new here and you've just started and you haven't got your diet set up yet, well then you're going to want to watch this video because I'm going to show you three of my go-to meals that are super simple, super satisfying, you are absolutely going to enjoy them and they also help me stay on track with my progress. And on top of that, I use these three meals as a strategy if ever I mess up my diet over the weekend or over a long vacation. I get back to these three meals, this strategy, and I'm back on track just like that. So if this sounds interesting to you, sit back, relax, get yourself a paper, pad, take some notes, let's get started. Okay, so when it comes down to setting up your diet, there's a couple things that you want to make sure that you have prepared. You want to make sure that you know how many calories you need for your deficit. It's your body weight times 15 minus 400. That's going to be your deficit if you're cutting body fat. Um, you're going to need a food scale to measure and weigh your food. You're also going to need to know which foods you like to eat that keep you the most satisfied. So that's going to be lean meats, uh, carbs like potatoes or bread, or if you like oats, choose oats, uh, fats like oils, avocado, butter on your potatoes. You have to figure out for yourself which foods you like to eat that satisfy you the most. And when it comes to keeping myself satisfied, it means that I eat these meals and that I'm not hungry an hour or two hours later. They keep me satisfied for at least four to five hours. So for me, that's lean meats like steaks, uh, chicken, chicken breast, um, eggs, egg whites, pancakes, uh, the French toast. You're gonna have to see what works best for your lifestyle. You're gonna have to see what foods fill you up the most, satisfy you the most. Okay, so let's get going. Okay, so for meal number one, we're gonna keep this very simple. We're gonna do some extra lean ground turkey. Now you could use extra lean ground beef, you could use uh, pork loin, but uh, very simple to cook. And we're gonna season that with some garlic powder, some salt, some pepper, and uh, we're gonna also cook it with a bit of coconut oil, okay? So for the carbs, we're gonna be doing a sweet potato and a bit of carbs from the bell pepper and we're also getting our veggies from the bell pepper. And then we're gonna put some sriracha on that sweet potato. So, so we're gonna fry up the meat. We're gonna, sh I'll show you how I prepare my sweet potato. It's very simple and, and yeah, so let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start by cutting up some bell pepper. Now for the sweet potato, you're gonna wash it and you're gonna to wanna to cut it in half. And we're gonna cook this in the microwave. So you're gonna put it face down for 12 minutes. This size is 450 grams of potatoes, it's a pretty big one, so 12 minutes in the microwave. Now we're gonna put the turkey on the stove and we're gonna cook it fully. Now I put in a teaspoon or two teaspoons of coconut oil and here I'm adding in some salt, some black pepper and some garlic powder. Now you could add in whatever spices you like. I like to keep things simple. Here the potatoes are done. So all you gotta do is peel off the skin and we're gonna put some sriracha and we're gonna mash it. Yeah, you could add some salt, some pepper to this too. I added some sea salt and you're just gonna mash it. You don't have to add in anything else. It comes out perfect. Now we're just gonna top it off with the turkey and pepper and voila. You could add in some sriracha. Sometimes I even top it off with some mustard, but that's it for today. Okay, so there it is, meal number one. Now this is super simple, super satisfying. As you can see, it's the full pack of extra lean ground turkey, which is around 454 grams weighed raw, and about 450 grams of sweet potato weighed raw. 
cooked in a bit of coconut oil, uh, a bit of sriracha, some seasoning, and some bell pepper. So I'll have the full macros on the screen or in the description. So very easy, very filling, very satisfying. Like I said, you can't get easier than this. So try this one out and let me know what you think. And I'll see you for meal number two. Okay, so we are ready for our meal number two, which is gonna be about half the calories of our meal number one. Now, like I said before, you could have your big meal first or you could have your big meal second. Today I'm having my small, my mid-sized meal second. And it's gonna be very similar to what I normally eat every day. And that's gonna be an omelet with some toast or some, some potatoes. But today we're gonna to do some garlic bread toast. So I like to cut a piece of garlic in half and then scrub it on the toast to make it a delicious garlic bread. I highly recommend it, try it out. So let's get straight to the recipe. We're gonna start by cutting up some bell pepper really small. Then we're gonna fry them on the frying pan. And then we're gonna break up four eggs. Try not to get the shell inside like I did. Whisk that all together. And we're gonna pour that on the frying pan. Now you could use some nonstick spray, add some salt and pepper. Now for this recipe, I'm using two slices of toast. And like I'm showing you here, you just cut a piece of garlic in half and then you just scrape it against the bread. Really good trick, tastes really good. Okay, so there it is. Meal number two, ready to go. Very simple but yet very satisfying. You got four eggs with two slices of toast and you saw that technique I did with the garlic. Very good, I highly recommend it. Tastes exactly like, tastes exactly like restaurant garlic bread. You're absolutely gonna enjoy that. Try it out. Okay guys, I'm gonna go sit down, I'm gonna go eat this and I'll catch you later for my late night dessert. All right, ciao, see you later. Okay guys, so that is gonna do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my full day of eating following the meals from the Movie Star Chef. Um, if you haven't picked up your copy of the Movie Star Chef Recipe Cookbook, go pick it up today. The link will be down in the description along with the link for the Kino Collagen. I use Kino Collagen in all the desserts that I make, including the Kino Cake that I made today for this video. So you could use the Blueberry Muffin or you could use the Mocha Collagen when it comes out. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got some good information from it. Um, you don't have to be super strict as long as you choose wisely. You choose the foods that you love that satisfy you. For me, it was, was turkey and sweet potato and then eggs with toast with some cakes at night. But sometimes it's chocolate at night. Sometimes um, it's extra lean ground beef. You have to find the foods that satisfy you the most. 
the, the diet that you enjoy the most is gonna be the diet that you can stick to. So please let me know in the comments if you like the video, uh, subscribe, subscribe to the channel, like it, and hit that notification bell if you wanna see more videos like this. And if you're on Instagram and you make one of these meals, tag me and tag your friends so we can all see it. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.